you know of ECS Elite Group. They do cover, uh, provide uh, solutions for full-size ATX uh, motherboards. We recently showed you the P67H2A2. Well, what we haven't shown you is something they're new into. This is the H67H2-I. Even though it's a mini ITX, it is completely scalable. You can add your own processor, your choice of DDR3, um, your SATA devices. Now, H67 chipset is a uh, Intel's media intended to be a media chipset. So this board has a few other features that we're going to show you here in just a sec. It has a full speed PCI Express 16 graphics slot for uh, if you actually wanted to get your game on, you can do it with this particular build. Uh, 8 channel integrated audio, HD audio, uh, solid state caps, uh, it's again Blu-ray friendly, USB 3.0 built in, um, eSATA, uh, and uh, yeah. so it's basically a full size features just in a smaller package. So let's open this up and we'll show you what we mean. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> it's uh, These small boards are something to behold, They're, especially in the smaller systems. Uh, these are becoming more and more popular at uh, LAN parties because they are small enough. You can uh, take in a, a small enough chassis like the Silverstone SG07 or the SG05. So again, some of the features you're Built-in Bluetooth, uh, USB 3.0, your USB 2.0 uh, slots, uh, analog, uh, 7.1 channel, and of course the exp I was telling you about the uh, graphical expansion or the uh, video out. We have an HDMI and it's uh, fully compatible uh, HDMI port out, a DVI port out, and a VGA out for those that might have the older monitors. Um, that's, that's how you get that, have access to the integrated uh, graphics that's built into the Sandy Bridge LGA 1155 processors, which is what you would want to use here. Uh, so if you have a 2500K or 2600K, that's how you get access to that integrated graphics. So again, here's your two uh, DIMM slots for DDR3, run dual channel. Uh, it uh, typically these support just standard 1333 megahertz. Uh, although, albeit would assume that uh, 1600 megahertz would easily be uh, offered as well. Just time back the timings down uh, this frequency. And then your full speed PCI Express 2.0. Uh, as long as your case is large enough to fit that whatever video card you put in here, then you're good to go. So, uh, in case of Silverstone SG07, you can house a GTX 580, uh, especially since it, since it has a 600 watt power supply, you can do that there. Uh, ultimately, again, full featured. You have your SATA ports here at the bottom. Uh, four of those should be plenty, and then extra U USB headers on the board itself. That's your board right there. We'll take a look at the bundle real quick. Uh, Got four red SATA cables, rear IL shield for uh, your your board to help a uh, little exp help the, out the expansion. Your a black with fitting matching IO that work, works for probably eight out of ten cases out there. Got a quick reference guide, the full user's guide to help you get set up BIOS, matching the BIOS, higher hardware setup, and of course the Driver, uh, driver CD, software CD has, has everything built in on it, uh, uh, including Norton, which comes in handy on a media server because you don't want to install any movies or anything media-wise on there that's uh, infected. So overall, a full-size package and a not-so-full-size motherboard. Again, all perfect for home theater PCs, uh, low power consumption. Uh, just depends on the components you put in there. If it's just a Sandy Bridge uh, 26 core i7, uh, 2600K, or just a 2600, uh, you ha you'll have full 1080 access uh, and transcoding power packed into one tiny little board. A very capable little board.